Hi, my name's Miss Turpin, uh, one of the science teachers at Coldew School, um, specialising in biology, but teaching across the three sciences. I'm just here to talk to you quickly about the applied science A-level that we're going to be offering. OK, a little introduction on this slide. A lot of this information um, in the first bullet point certainly is the case for a lot of A-level subjects. GCC knowledge is built upon and there is a quick progression to a more advanced level of learning and application. Students at A-level are expected um, to show real commitment in their lessons, to their homework and also in their study periods. Specifically with applied science and um, something that appeals to a lot of students is that practical work is at the heart of the course. The course also allows a development of scientific skills which can be addressed through the three sciences and also can be applied to a range of situations again across the three sciences and going forward that can be really useful for the world of work. A little bit about what the course contains and also how the course is assessed. So first of all in the first year so the AS level year year 12 there are three main areas. The first is key concepts in science so we will look at a range of different subtopics within biology, chemistry and physics. Some of these will build on GCC knowledge, some will be something a little bit different. Second, science in the modern world. This part of the course is really good for developing those scientific analysis and critical thinking skills. These skills are those that can be applied across the course and also, as I've mentioned before, going forward in terms of working. Finally, and again, as I've mentioned before, a really appealing part of this course, applied experimental techniques. This is the practical science element of the course. There are a number of practicals which are taught and delivered really, really thoroughly. And we will look at how this is assessed in a second. So the assessment of those first year areas on the slide here i'll talk you through it quickly so key concepts in science this is a written exam that's an hour and 30 minutes same thing for science in the modern world written exam hour and 30 minutes what again is appealing about this practical element to your applied experiment experimental techniques is the fact that this is a portfolio based this is more coursework based is internally assessed. Students will submit work which will be marked and graded by their teachers um, internally. It will not be an exam. This for a lot of students is a real positive for this course. The amount of exam based assessment is significantly reduced. So we're going to have a look at what you will be looking at in year two. So the uh, year 13. Again, we've got three main areas. Firstly, the human body. So this unit is looking quite specifically at human anatomy and physiology. Some things in here, the basics are taught at GCSE. Obviously, in year 13, the amount of detail will be increased. But everyone should have a, a basic knowledge of that um, from GCSE to build upon. Second, we've got a, um, a unit called Investigating Science. So this is basically undertaking the role of a research scientist. There's lots of data analysis um, lots of critical thinking. It's quite broad, but actually in terms of developing scientific skills, it's a really, really good part of the course. Finally, there is a bit of a chance to specialise. So the final area is either microbiology or medical physics. OK, so the assessment for year 13. At this point, students will have completed all of those year 12 units that we've had a look at previously. In addition, the human body unit is a written exam. That is the only exam in year 13 for applied science. 
the investigating science and the microbiology or medical physics are both portfolio based. So as I mentioned previously, the portfolio is uh, like coursework and it is internally assessed, marked and graded by teaching staff. So what next? What can uh, students go on to do if they've studied applied science? First thing just to um, briefly mention on here is that because the content in the course is equivalent to A-level, as I mentioned at the start, it is a subject at A-level that's been endorsed and recognised by a large number of universities. So if the university pathway is the way that a student wishes to go, um, it's, it's seen as fulfilling the criteria of other qualifications. The other point on here is one that I've mentioned already, and the examination component is reduced. Students find this to be a huge advantage because it reduces the pressure um, of an exam and the level of portfolio coursework increases. OK, so just to end with, on the slide here, there are some degree course ideas, career area ideas that applied science could lead to. There are a number of different pathways to get to a lot of these careers. Um, it might not necessarily be university if that's not uh, what the student wants. However, applied science, as we've looked at before, is a highly regarded A-level and will count towards um, a university place. We've looked at how applied science is quite a broad subject to choose. It covers biology, chemistry and physics. So this might appeal to a student who enjoys science, but maybe doesn't want to choose one outright. So maybe doesn't want to just do biology A-level, um, maybe finds physics a little bit difficult, but enjoys it. So wants to do a little bit, but wouldn't choose to do a whole A-level in it. It also provides a wide range of knowledge across those three sciences, including scientific and critical thinking skills. The skill development is the thing that is going to stand out for a lot of students in terms of university and job applications. As a lot of us know, um, industries are looking for people who not only have knowledge, but also have skills they can apply to a workplace. So. For a lot of students, this is a, a really good option for an A-level subject. Number one, it's broad. Number two, if they enjoy science, but maybe don't want to pick one, this covers all three. And number three, it provides a really, really good skill set. I hope this has been informative and has maybe answered some questions that you've got. If there's anything that I've missed or anything that you want any more detail on, please feel free to get in touch and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.